I'm here at the Wisconsin State Capitol. It is the Monday, right before the election. I'm looking around the state capitol and we can see fuck one two, fuck one two written everywhere. Camera store, looks like it's out of business. Everything is still boarded up. Giant graffiti all throughout this block right here. You can see fuck pigs written in the street. The various restaurants graffiti. This spot's probably been graffitied, you know, a couple hundred times. It looks like they finally repainted that. This artwork, which the city of Madison paid tens of thousands of dollars for. Some lady who came down here with some sort of uh, anti-United Nations message. Not the same as everybody else. Employed more immigrants than... Pizza place back here that I worked for many years ago probably employed more immigrants than almost any place on State Street. Employed people from all over the world. It was a great place. And it's out of business now. One storefront after another, after another, after another, with four lease, four rent signs. It's been five months now and it would seem that half of these businesses are gone. You've got homeless people all over the street. They should be in shelters, they should be in housing, but instead they're on the street in the middle of a deadly virus handling for money, drinking, doing drugs. Madison has had 11 homicides this year. And I don't know if I'm more afraid that I'm gonna step on a needle or, or get mugged. I mean, this looks like a war zone. Everything is boarded up nearly everywhere. Uh, maybe 10% of the places don't have boards over the windows. The, the town is just covered in graffiti and yes some of this is just artwork that's on the murals and then some of it is BLM or Buck One Two with on concrete with spray paint. It's it's sad and people who probably are most affected are the immigrant owned businesses that have gone out, uh, people losing their jobs and then the only people they're gonna be able to afford to reopen or open are going to be the large corporations but you can even see that some of these corporations have even pulled out so the money is just pulling out of state street and it's dying possibly the dumbest thing i've seen here today free yisha yisha, yisha. this is the guy who was walking into a restaurant with a baseball bat and a megaphone threatening businesses because he's a political prisoner. Yeah. Yeah, he's a political prisoner who was threatening businesses with a megaphone and a baseball bat, demanding free food and money with his friends. And that's what actually sparked a lot of the violence that happened later this summer when they ripped down the statues. Political prisoner. <laughs>